the previous video we have learned how to create a basic screen flow for creating a new account record from just the home page okay so in this video we will learn how to update a record for example we have an account record and i want to update the value of a field of this record let's say this type field which is a tick list type field so i want to update this value but not by clicking on edit and then going on to the record and then clicking on save i want to do it using flows using screen flows so what should i do for that so first of all let's go to the flows the setup clicking on new flow flow builder opens selecting the screen flow now as always first of all we will select a screen element so that user can enter the input so here what we want is we, we want to update the value of the type field which is a pick list value okay so in the component we will select the input type as pick list let's give it the name as account type Uh, you can make it require so that user can't skip it. Now let's configure the choices. So, so first of all, let user select op multiple options. You can say yes or no. Now and also the component type can be radio button. It will be like this button type or the pick list type. Okay. Now the choices. Let's create choices. Let's create basic choices A. Can create B, can create C. So we have three choices for the user to give in the input for that field. Okay, we can give a default value as well. Suppose user doesn't select any value, then this will be the default value. So let's give A as a default value. Now we have this component visibility help. This is the called as help text. We want to give a text here with the I button like. Like to navigate the user that you have to enter this value here what we call as help text okay now let's give the screen a name its name is account type screen okay and this header this is the header this is the footer we can configure them as well we can hide this we hide this then nothing will be shown here but if this is shown then the name of the flow will be populating above that account type so let's hide it okay in the configure footer like the previous video we will hide the previous button the pause button and instead of the next button we will customize it to submit okay click on done so this is the input screen now we have to uh, uh, update the record which record we need to update we need to update the account record with that particular field value so in the element let's search for update record let's name is updating type field on account this is our update record name okay now here this is very important how will the salesforce know that suppose user has given the type field value as a and how will the user know that this the user wants this value to be updated against which account they can be multiple accounts so to map that value to a particular account we will use id what id is this record account id account record id this id so we will map that according to this id Okay, so you will understand it within a couple of minutes. So you can ignore this for now. We will use it in the upcoming videos. So here, let's first of all use this specify conditions. Which object we are using to update the record? We are updating the account record. So selecting account here. Now this is important. The condition. Okay, so in the condition, what we will do is account ID this is the field 
I mean the ID of the account. Okay, so that means this record will be updated only when this ID of the account will be equal to the value which we have been specified, which we are specifying. Okay, so for that, we are not taking the value of the account from the user. It will be taken by default using this way. Clicking on new resource, we will create a variable. We will create a variable. Let's name is record ID. Okay, this is the variable name. The data type we will use text because account type is account ID is in the text format. Okay, and this is uh, important that we need to make sure that available for input is checked. Clicking on done. Okay, so basically this is the condition that this record will be updated only when its id is equal to this record id but you will say this record id variable is empty we haven't specified any id to this record id so you will learn in a couple of seconds that this record id is coming when we are editing the page and adding that flow to that page so give me one minute before that let's first of all map the values what we are mapping the type I feel the field in the account object will be mapped with the value which we are taking from the user and what is that value this is account type which is the pick list type okay so this is the mapping let's save it let's name the flow as account update flow let's activate this you can debug this as well for your better understanding and all can also use the run so if you click the run action then it will not show the debug logs it will be basically like on the record in the csv ui it will be visible this way okay so in the debug you can see like i think a you can see this to understand in a better way okay slide so when the update record element is executed you can see find all account records where id is equal to record id and here you can see null because this record id is empty currently so no record will be updated okay because criteria is not specified okay so now let's add this account update flow to our Salesforce UI. So now, in the previous video, we have learned to create a new account. We have added just on the home page this flow account name. But in this scenario, where we are create updating, updating a record, we need to add that flow to the page, uh, which is the record detail page only. Okay, you will learn this in a minute why we are doing so. So this is the account detail page. Okay. So in this, we need to click edit page and we will add our flow to that. So let's add it on the top of this record detail page. Clicking on the plus icon, selecting flows from the standard one. Now we will select our flow. This is our previous flow, account creation flow. We are not using it here. We will use account update flow. Now here it is, you can read it carefully, optionally enter values for these flow variables. What is this flow variable? This flow variable is record id which we have defined in our while we were creating our flow. Okay, so and also you can see only variables that allow input access are supported. So that's why if you remember I have checked that allow input checkbox so that it is visible here. Okay, now on checking this pass record id to this variable what we will happen is this record id variable which we have declared will get the value of that particular account on whom uh, detail page we, we are suppose this account name is ab so here the account id of ab will be stored in this record id and it will be used to calculate that condition whether the condition is successful and then only the record will be updated this is the way click on save you 
can go back so here you can see this ab account currently has a type as q type value sq but if i change it from here what will happen is suppose i select here b and click on submit you will see automatically it's getting updated here because what is happening this is create uh, updating the record and when it is updating the most important thing when it is updating when the condition which we have specified in the flow is satisfied and what is the condition that the id is equal to the record id this id is the id id field on the account object which is storing this value by default there is no role of us in that but this this its value it's where the things is decided so here we have declared a variable called record id and this record id variable has nothing here but it will get the value it will get the value like suppose user is on the anirudh account record then it will get the value from here this record id value will be stored in that record id okay and this will be equated so what will happen is this change will happen only for this record this account anirudh record not for the other record ab because user is on anirudh account record so he wants to update the type field on that record only not for the other account records so this was all about this in the upcoming videos we will finish the screen flow and then we will go forward to the auto launch flows and schedule flows so we will learn how to send notifications and post to chatter as well using flows without any involvement of coding in the apex class creating apex classes going to develop a console no need of that so this is the importance of this salesforce flow so thanks for watching stay tuned also i am sharing you my linkedin profile link you can follow me on linkedin as well you can search by anirudh garks sim uh, simply on uh, linkedin or you can go to this url so thanks a lot